Al in New York. Hey, Al, what's up? Uh, Tom, but long time listener, uh, thank you for taking my call. I just correct you on a couple of items with the PTC. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you're talking about the positive train control. You you work for Amtrak, yeah. Al? Uh, um, yes. Okay. And it, it, it is installed. It is installed. That engine had uh, po- the access system. It does have positive train control. We do have positive train control from Boston to New Haven, and then uh, through some parts of New York, and then down through from uh, north of Baltimore down to Washington, D.C. There is positive train control. So the problem wasn't that it wasn't installed in the engine. It was that it wasn't a, that the, 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 the railway along which this train was passing did not have the, the, the sensors and the communication devices to interact That's with correct. what's in the, the cabin? Wayside, the, the, wayside, the wayside is not uh, activated in that area yet because the government is not giving enough money to fully fund it to install it in, in the area. So they're doing it as quickly as they can with what limited funds they have. Right, and this is why the this is why the Democrats proposed $825 million in emergency funding for Amtrak, and yesterday the Republicans voted it down. Is that, Would that be the correct. case? But it is, it, and all the sellers, all, all trains that travel on the Northeast Corridor have to have the access system, which is the positive train control system, uh, an engine that does not have it, and that includes the freights that travel the area. Right. Um, all, all of the commuter trains, they all have to have that installed in their trains or cannot travel on the corridor. Very, very interesting. So what needs to be upgraded is the corridor, not the trains. And, yes, and, and, and how much of that corridor... Areas within that area needs to have it installed. Right. And how much of that corridor, uh, on how much of that corridor is the rail privately owned? Uh, just the Metro North area, uh, from uh, New Haven, Connecticut, to uh, New Rochelle, New York, is controlled by Metro North. The rest is, uh, the from Boston to the Rhode Island line, is owned by the commuter rail at the T, the transportation uh, the vision of Massachusetts, mm-hmm. although it's maintained by Amtrak, and then the rest uh, is all controlled by Amtrak. I thought there was a lot of private ownership of the rail along that that route. No, no, or, no. But it's all controlled by Amtrak except for Metro North. Which now, when I I used to go from New York to to Montpelier on the Vermonter, and we had to make a really weird turn in in Massachusetts, and they told us it was because area when you're that's a different branch line, the Springfield line, which goes up to uh, that's owned by uh, a couple of different railroads, including CSX. Right. Um, that is not an access territory. Right. It has not been installed yet. Right. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So the government-owned parts of the rail and government-owned and maintained are the ones that are being upgraded rather than upgrading the private? There's no privately-owned rail between D.C. and New York, is that what you're saying, for example? There, there is not. It's all owned by, uh, by Amtrak, and it's uh, helped subsidized by some of the state they their partners and they must pay some maintenance costs because their trains also run on the rails but right the other, they, one other thing I just want to put in uh, on this the federal the uh, Supreme Court just ruled in a case uh, against the private railroads brought uh, the freight railroads brought against Amtrak in the Department of Transportation saying that if Amtrak is a private entity then we shouldn't have to give them priority uh, on our rails. And the uh, unanimous decision of the Supreme Court was Amtrak is a federal government agency. Cool. And not a private company. Cool. And let's keep it that way. Al, thank you very much for the call. It's great to talk to somebody who's informed. I'm, I'm telling you, we have the smartest listeners on earth on this show, and I'm so grateful for it. Thank you, Al. And thanks for listening to Sirius.